For any successful commercial livestock production, breeding is a critical aspect that every farmer must consider. At Ubora Dairy Farm in Moranga County, Boneface understands that success starts with superior genetics. That's why he, like many Kenyan dairy farmers, embraces artificial insemination to enhance his herd's productivity. Unlike natural mating, selective breeding has been proven to transform dairy farming, ensuring healthier cows and higher milk yields and income for farmers. We started dairy farming because we wanted to be, we are the first consumer of the milk and we want to do ethical and that's why we came with the name Obola Ethical Farm. I acquired the farm in Kirinyaga. The farmer had only one cow. Then we started uh, buying a few of them. Right now, we have 105 cows, young ones, and havers all included. In Moranga County, there are over 326,000 cows under dairy production, mainly small-scale and a few medium to large-scale farmers. At county level, they are actively advocating for farmers to embrace the use of artificial insemination to boost their breeds for optimal production. These AI services offered are provided by public and private veterinary professionals. Moranga County is a dairy county. We have uh, 340,000 plus uh, cows. Most of the farmers, especially in the upper region, are dairy farmers. We also have some beef farmers in the lower zone. In Moranga, Frisian is the predominant uh, animal. Uh, on milk production, I would take an average of 8 liters per cow. Moranga County was one of the lucky counties where AI was introduced in those early years when the government used to support AI and the whole process was free so that the farmers could adopt the technology. Later, because of structural adjustment programs, uh, there was charging of AI services. 80% of our farmers use artificial insemination. However, the uptake of artificial insemination is generally low in Kenya and across the country. As we have experienced, it's issue with AI, the process. We don't know how to verify the the qualified one and who is not qualified. For an animal to conceive successively, there is the part that a farmer plays, there is the part that inseminator play, and also the animal itself. So there is that repeat because maybe a farmer timed his or her animal long, and maybe the handling of semen equally contributes to those repeat of animals, and also diseases, uh, reproductive diseases in animals. To address these challenges, the Directorate of Veterinary Service, DVS, in partnership with Moranga County, with support from the Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, organized a workshop to empower and sensitize breeders, artificial inseminators, and farmers in Moranga County on breed selection that will improve milk and beef production in the country. The semen distribution in Moranga, I think, is the top five counties which is uh, consuming a lot of semen. And they really wanted this capacity building to the service providers and also to the county people. This training, we've partnered with the county, with also the Embassy of Netherlands and the Dairy Training Centre. One of the priorities of the Kenyan government is to grow the livestock sector. And the Netherlands and DVS already have a long standing cooperation about veterinary issues. And the challenge of growing the livestock sector requires that you also have a good breeding program. And Dutch companies have a lot of knowledge and expertise they can bring into Kenya to assist with that mission of the government. We are looking at um, what makes successful AI, how to store and maintain cold chain through the insemination, quality of the semen through the process, and of course what is most important is the catalog interpretation, which is challenging to most practitioners. 60 to 70% of the animals that are served, they are served by the private practitioner. That is why we brought them on board. Then we brought the distributors. Uh, distributors are the ones who stock the semen in large quantities. And so we needed them to be capacity built on how to handle semen. Because if you get it long at the distributor's level, and you know how delicate semen is, then we might not get the desired results when it comes to the served animals. We have also brought those who intend to import semen to this county or to this country because we expect them to understand from which country the director of veterinary services, Kabete, would advise or allows to import a, a semen from. We have also brought in government officials because they are the ones who do the uh, supervision 
and also because of the regulations that are there and the reporting system. Semen importers were also invited to enlighten the workshop participants on advanced breeds for optimal production. We have been offering genetic solutions in terms of the genetic uh, bull semen for different breeds including uh, Freshens, Jassy, Flecvi, Gir and Girolando which, which are our latest uh, inclusion in that. But beyond that you're also uh, helping farmers to make what you call uh, come up with breeding objectives for their farms through trainings and through value-added services like one we are calling Siamach which basically helps the farmer to be able to know which bull is best suited for their cows. We are working with a breeding um, a company in Netherlands called CRV, which is a cooperative for farmers, which has been in existence for more than 150 years, supplying different uh, solutions to the farms, not only in Kenya, but into over 50 uh, countries in the world. So we are making sure that we are sourcing the, our genetics from a reputable company. But beyond that, we are making sure that every single straw coming into Kenya has been tested for both the motility the morphology and every other aspect to give you assurance as a farmer that you are getting you are getting the best you can. Ubora Dairy Farm is already making leaps in improving their breeds. We decided to go the, the way of Fleckview. Fleckview is a hardic animal. Production of the milk is equally good as a fresh end, and the quality of milk is better and also the conversion rate of the feeds is it's high. We started getting our semen from Germany. Cows which are in calf here, they are all in calf with the flake view. The Kenyan government, through the Directorate of Veterinary Services, in partnership with stakeholders along the livestock valley chain, are committed to supporting farmers and enabling trade between Kenyan and Dutch companies to boost Kenya's dairy sector. In 2024, we had an, a livestock mission to Kenya from Netherlands companies and we also saw a lot of interest from them to work in Kenya. And we also linked them up with the government and with DVS to see if they can cooperate on improving the livestock sector in Kenya. For our service providers, we are insisting on ethical practices at the farm level as they're dealing with their clients and of course doing AI in a sustainable way and um, the other bit is um, doing very good customer care to the farmers. There's been high demand for sex semen in the country and the government has come in through Kenya Animal Genetic Resources Centre and this uh, institution is the one which is a local producer of semen. They've been allowed to import semen, the sex semen, and they're selling it at subsidized rates to the farmers. This training translates to effects on the farm. It's like refreshing the practitioners and even the farmers on how they will work together to ensure high animal productivity. As the entire chain, so for us to be able to make the biggest progress, are we breeding, are we mating? The idea is to make uh, every single insemination you are giving to a cow to make a genetic progress. When you are distributing semen, also advise the person you are distributing semen to so that they can, the information can reach the farmers. And I hope eh, we can have more training so that we can bring more uh, uh, private inseminators and the government inseminators together and then continue with that training. Through regular trainings, the dairy and beef sector in Kenya has potential to transform. Artificial insemination guarantees a farmer 90% success rate and hence the need to sensitize more farmers, veterinary professionals and extension workers in the public and private sector. For farmers like Boneface, achieving optimal production and profitability will be a key contribution towards food and nutrition security and sustaining livelihoods.